Joe Biden. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool. Ashley Biden, James O'Keefe, The Secret Little Diary. What the fuck? Well, the case has been solved, the code has been cracked, that DOJ got their man or woman Sabingo. for exposing Sloppy Joe's dirty laundry. She was 12, I was 30, but anyway. Interesting. Kids jumping on my lap. You stupid fuck! I'm Jasper Gonzo on this. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. Well, are you retarded? It's what's next. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages? I am your humble host, Jasper Gonzo. This is What's Next, another episode for you. Common Sense, Facts, and Salt. Happy Wednesday. Ah, uh, Ashley Biden. Remember her? You know, the daughter of the leader-in-chief, Joe Biden. Yes, Dementia Joe. Sloppy Joe. Sniffer Joe. Well, remember she had a diary? You know, that little mysterious diary that somehow, you know, didn't exist. You know, like Hunter's laptop. Well, of course, the diary does, does exist. And it ended up in the hands of one James O'Keefe, formerly of Veritas. Of course, now he's on his own with O'Keefe Media Group. Well, the DOJ has finally cracked the code. They solved the crime of who leaked the diary. And they caught this man, or woman, shall we say tried and sentenced to the gulags or did she and here we go this comes out of gateway pundit biden's doj sends amy harris to prison for allegedly stealing ashley biden's diary that revealed dirty joe's perverted acts yes and there were plenty Amy Harris, 41, was sentenced to Biden's Department of Justice to prison, followed a period of home uh, period of, uh, follow, excuse me, followed by a period of home confinement for her role in the alleged theft and distribution of a diary belonging to one Ashley Biden. As previously reported by the Gateway Pundit, Ashley Biden, Joe Biden's youngest daughter, left the diary under the mattress at a Palm Beach rehab home following a stay at treatment facility. Two individuals found Ashley Biden's diary at a halfway house later and sold the diary to one James O'Keefe, formerly of Project Veritas. In January 2019, entry, Ashley Biden recalled how she used to shower with her father, Joe Biden, and suggested that it may have contributed to a sex addiction. The diary describes Ashley and her father, Joe Biden, taking showers together at an inappropriate age. Quote, I've always been boy crazy, Ashley wrote, hypersexualized at a young age. I remember somewhat being sexualized with a family member and remember having sex with friends at a young age. Showers, my dad, probably not appropriate she wrote in a january 2019 entry according to the daily mail james o'keefe was later a victim of the late night fbi raid and was arrested by biden's regime in 22 amy harris a co-defendant and robert uh Colaron, who who found ashley biden's diary at the halfway house pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit interstate transportation of a stolen property really an emotional court appearance a remorseful harris expressed great re regret over her actions oh i would have not expressed any kind of remorse for this i would have been like yeah i found it yeah i let it go and what you gonna do but anyway uh emphasizing her difficult personal circumstances including surviving domestic abuse and sexual trauma according to the new york post despite harris's personal plea of her defense attorney a plea uh, appeal leniency based on her dramatic past and responsibilities as a mother the prosecution highlighted harris's pattern as a disrespect to the law a uh, attorney general robert Silverman, claimed that harris's actions were not un was not only unlawful but was intended to do harm to the biden family and influence the political landscape yes because it's all about politics chief u.s district uh, judge laura taylor described the act of selling the diary as despicable highlighting the privacy invasion and potential potential uh, political motivations behind the sale harris was ordered to serve a one-month prince's sentence 30 days twenty thousand dollar fine and undergo three years of probation Harris is set to begin her service, uh, her prison term on July, in July, while Curlander's sentence is pending. My thoughts? One month, 30 days, $20,000 fine, three years of probation, home confinement. I'm stunned. I'm absolutely stunned that this woman, Amy Harris, didn't get the gallows. You know, electric chair, you know, death by, you know, death by injection, you know, drawn and quartered, beaten to a pulp, shot in the town square, 
these things. I'm I'm absolutely stunned about this. But J6ers, they're still sitting in the DC gulags with no representation whatsoever. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, you just gotta love the double standards. But you would think that someone who exposed Joe's dirty little secrets, yes, his uh, shall I say, pedoisms, would have been literally done everything I just said in some way, shape, or form. That you would have never saw her again. That it would have been just like uh, um, uh, was it a Giselle, Gazelle, uh, what's what's name, uh, who's involved with Epstein? You know, who had a book of dirty little secrets with names. You know, she got sentenced to what 20, 30 years to keep her mouth shut. But this woman, one month, wow. Yeah, that is that's truly unbelievable. Of course, you know, but James O'Keefe got it worse when they did a uh, FBI raid and took his shit because of this. As we all know, we've seen the videos, we've heard the audio of Joe sniffing little kids, doing oddball things, especially to grown women in front of grown women, especially when it comes to when it comes to children. It's disgusting. It's perverted. It's ugly. But yet, this man is still leader-in-chief. He's still commander-in-chief. He's still the President of the United States, and he still has his finger on the nuke. But yet, I hate to bring him up, but I will, Trump's the bad guy. Wow. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Bergonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. Continue watching the show. Spread the word. Appreciate you guys watching. And we'll see you next time. Peace.